Over the last hour or the last year, actually, we have lost more than half a million Americans to the COVID-19 pandemic. That really is a staggering number, and the U.S. is home to less than 5% of the world's population. But sadly, more than a fifth of the deaths from the world have happened right here in this country. More than half a million Americans have died. I wish I could hug him one more time. I wasn't by his side when he needed me the most. The losses are overwhelming. I just never, ever thought that we'd hit anything close to this. So this has been, I think, a, an unfortunate uh, surprise for a lot of us. And the fight against the virus has been frozen for the better part of a week. Winter storms delaying medicine, deliveries, vaccination. Uh, we got thrown a curveball by Mother Nature last week, and it turned out to be a lot worse than we thought it would be. Um, the whole national supply situation got disrupted. Now agencies nationwide are rushing to get the process back online. It's a temporary setback. We'll get it up to where we need to be by the middle of the week. There are signs of hope tonight. The rate of infection and deaths are dropping all across the country. And a new vaccine from Johnson & Johnson is awaiting emergency use approval. None of that, however, can erase the pain of hundreds of thousands of families suffering loss. Each of those half a million people is someone's grandpa, it's somebody's dad, it's somebody's sister, mom. I mean, it's, it's not a nameless, faceless number. President Biden plans to mark that grim milestone tonight. We're told the first lady, the vice president and the second gentleman are going to join the president for a candle lighting in memory of the 500,000 lives lost. If you would like to watch that, we'll be taking it live ahead tonight on 13 News right here at six o'clock. And as we near the one year mark of the initial shutdown from COVID-19, I sat down recently with Indianapolis Mayor <coughs> Joe Hogsett for a candid conversation about the pandemic and how the city has handled it. Is there anything that you regret or would have done differently? Uh, I think our response was efficient and effective, but I always wish that we could have done more early on. Uh, and then the, d the difficult decision making that we have uh, made in consultation with our public health experts. It's always a very difficult balance between those in our community who want all businesses reopened, they want to go back to work, they want to go back to their normal life, while at the same time I'm being uh, informed and instructed by our public health experts that we need to keep things uh, shut down, that we need to uh, restrict uh, access to certain venues. I, I don't think it's a regret, but it was very frustrating to try to balance the desires of one part of our community over and against the other parts. And we always erred, rightly or wrongly, we always erred on the side of caution. Of course, getting the vaccine out to as many people as possible is a key part of the equation mm -hmm. to reopening up our city. And we learned today that soon you're going to have another place to go get that COVID shot. Meyer plans to open up COVID-19 vaccine clinics all across the state of Indiana yet this week. The company says it should be able to vaccinate 17,000 Hoosiers by Sunday. The store plans to hold 64 vaccine clinics across the state after it gets its doses from the CDC. And that includes several large sale clinics where Meyer Pharmacy teams are going to vaccinate up to 1,200 people. Their plan is to do that large number in a single day.